Hey, hey, hey. Hey, welcome to another episode of Bubble Tea's Gaming, or in the American sense, Boba Tea Gaming. No really sure why Americans refer to Bubble Tea as uh, Boba. I'm not sure what Boba means, but let's roll with that. Okay, as you can see from the thumbnail, today we'll be dissecting the SS skins. So, recently if you notice, like the SS skins have been really cheap because like limited sale, there was 150 for 500 black diamond. So the original price was this, uh, like 30 for uh, 100, then like USD, but then this, the game suddenly shifted, like they gave up packs with uh, SS Universal, the love of my life also with SS, so they generally make SS cheaper, unless you want to uh, level it up fast. So uh, like with any economical situation, if you make something cheaper, you're more incentivized to get it. Treasure Seekers, like, uh, the Glorious Battle. I know some people, like, in the SS, they change it to this so that they can actually have a chance to level up their SS for cheap, though. So, with this uh, logic comes a point when people are encouraged to get SS because, like, in the, in the past, SS to, like, level up max was about uh, 3k-ish, now it's significantly a lot cheaper. So when it's a lot cheaper, the medium spenders will be like, yep, I can do this, it just takes a little bit longer. But the price reduction has been uh, astronomical. So it creates externalities where this is no longer classified as a whale item and it's more affordable to medium spender. Okay, with that saying, what are the type of SS skins? So SS skins are here, customization. You have Kingsguard. Uh, I think this was the OG, the original. Then followed, but no, uh, Unsalted was the original for KVK. Then they came out with Kingsguard. Then after Kingsguard, they came out the, uh, with uh, Water Dancer, then Bowman, then uh, Doraki Rider, Infantry, and then uh, Red Priestess. I might be wrong, but that was the order. Okay, so if you're like starting to collect SS skins and you wondering like what's the pick point, uh, I'm here to like teach you guys like because I know like not every one of you guys is gonna get it to go. So I'm here to break down the SS skin. So I'm the, the first part will be for the low spenders who just got into the habit of getting SS and the next part will be for the medium to higher end spenders who are thinking of getting like gold. SS. So, without further ado, let us me begin the video. Okay, so, King's Guard, so this is one pack, two pack, and this is, so it's uh, 30, 60 per level, and 50 per level. So it's like 60, 30, uh, uh, 150. Okay, so, let me just uh, bring out Notepad 2020. This has been a very long since I get like SS skin breakdown. So generally, gray is uh, one pack or 30 SS. Green is usually two pack or 60 SS. And uh, blue is three, uh, not, not three. Uh, blue is about 100, no. 50, 50, 150 SS. Because it's 50 times 3. Okay. So it's about 5 packs. Oh. Uh, keep in mind, this is not accurate. Ay, 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 ay. Then, uh, purple would be 100, would be 300 SS. So it's 100, 100, 100, if I'm not wrong. So that's about 10 packs. Then go, you're looking at about 450 SS, which is about 15 packs. Okay, so this is the breakdown of SS. So uh, when you're buying SS, right, you, you do not really want to like max out to gold first though, because there are five SS skins. Let me put it down. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
<sighs> there are seven SS skins though, but Unsolid is KVK. Okay, I'll include it in for this video. So what you should do with the SS is you look at the bonus. So if you're a low spender just getting into like SS, your first priority is to identify the one that gives you the immediate power spike. So that would be Doraki Rider, 5% uh, total attack. So, wait, huh? I'm just going to write down. Low spender or medium getting into SS. Priority, one pack to uh, Doraki Rider for the 5%. Then the next thing you should be doing is wait uh, let me see okay so this is debatable so red princess re uh, reduction five percent this one if your banner is uh, about the same as the doraki rider but if your rally tank is also not too bad though so but like generally i'm thinking that you guys want to have like more attack capabilities so attack reduction and total attack is essentially about the same so i'm gonna say your first priority second is one pack to red priestess sorry guys i will uh show up the notepad when i'm finished okay and your third priority would be water dancer two packs uh wait three packs three packs water dancer and the other one is the bowman what's the bowman called uh? king's guard bowman four then after that you can consider uh and king's guard infantry so all these are all the same then you can consider Uh, King's got calf. Okay, so three packs would be about five. So, okay, let me bring up Notepad twenty twenty. Okay. So the first thing you should do once you have thirty SS is to level up your Doraki rather to Gray for the five percent uh, total attack. Then you level give thirty. Great priestess. Then you work on getting the total attack of the water dancer, bowman, and king's guard infantry. And then when all this is at green and these two are at grey, then you try to get this at blue. Okay, the reason why you don't go ham on one skin to like go okay, so let's see. So if one one uh three 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 nine ten eleven eleven fifteen. So fifteen packs. Okay, so I'm gonna do some math. Huh? So if you were to go one skin, like uh, you will need 15 packs. So 15 packs is about 450 SS. So 450 SS, if you do it on one skin, you're literally only going to get it to purple. Purple end. So purple ending. So let's take one skin out. Let's let's draw the best one. Oh, wait, uh, sorry. Let's draw the let's draw King's Guard Infantry to purple. So you get nine wait, uh, you get five health, seven attack, nine defense, and twelve health reduction. Okay, so it, the bubbles is a bit hangover today. So, oh, so I'm going to make this higher. Okay, so what does this mean? So you get uh, health reduction, I'm going to take it as health. So you get 7x8 plus 5x4 plus 9x2 plus 12x4. So your total value here would be wait let me see ah yeah. fifty four is it fifty four eight forty eight fifty six ah uh. wait 
So, 8 times 5, 40, 48, 56, correct. Plus 20 plus 18 plus uh, 48. So, equals your total value here is let me give a calculator 56 plus 20 plus 18 plus 48 142 so if you use all your ss and like do the amount of ss that is not in this configuration with 16 SS, yeah, it's about that. You, a maximum you can get purple and like uh, a few gold, but you won't get even one gold, so you're looking at this configuration. So you're getting 142 points. For the same amount of SS skins, you can do this or you can do ham on this. So if you're just getting into SS, follow this method to get the power spike. Because if you're doing this, you're only getting 142. But if you're doing this, you're getting... So the Rocky 5%, 10%, 10%. 10% plus 721 plus 9, 9, so it's 40. So if you're calling my multi 40 x8, so if you're wondering about the x8, x4, x2, is how I calculate value usually. So it's 8, 320, yep. So you're getting two, two times the value for the same amount of money. You, you're getting 142 or you can get 320. So if you're just getting into SS, I recommend doing this to get the maximum amount of total attack. Don't put on one skin to get it to purple and only getting this. So this is the beginner lesson I want to uh, stress. So if you're not looking to go out your SS because you feel it's too expensive, and you just uh, collecting SS or you think of getting like some SS, I recommend going with this. It's a long grind, but uh, with the way the packs are being cheapened down, it might be possible. Okay, uh, maybe low spender is not too much, a uh, medium spender probably. But the thing I want to show here is don't put all your SS skins into one basket when you can do this to get the maximum amount of value. So if you notice my SS skin, I'm also doing the exact same thing, but due to the fact that I have gone past uh, the low medium spender where I already have it, I'm starting to look for additional value. So if you're looking at the low spender or medium spender part who just want to get like some SS, I recommend you stop here and the next part will be just me ranting on. Okay, uh, let me see whether I can screenshot the thing for you guys. Ay, ay, ay. So follow the lesson if you're gonna pause here for a bit just to gather my thoughts so this is the main thing i want to see uh, to teach you guys today if you're just getting into ss okay the second part yeah i won't need notepad because <laughs> this is just for me theory crafting okay second part is though for those people who are in my situation who have done the value ss a thing and are looking to actually get uh, uh to fully max it out though so when you do that you must identify the power spike you're getting. So if I do, let's say, King's Guard to gold, when I have re attack reduction, but when I go this, I have attack reversal. So if I were to rank the SS skins, right, for me, like I'm doing, I'm getting my King's Guard infantry to gold, then I'm getting my bowman to gold, then I'm getting... Uh, so this is uh, infantry and King's Guard are the first two. So this, so let, let me just record it down. Infantry, bow, uh, infantry, bow. Okay, these are the clear two favorites of the getting to go first because they have the best uh, value at the stats. Then this and priestess are a bit low on the chain. Unsolid is probably the one, but I don't think I'm going to go with because I can actually uh, do it with KVK. Then I think this is third. Then fourth. Wait, wait. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Six. Seven. So if I were to rank. The unsolid one is a bit like out of the question because I can get it uh, dur during events though. So I'm not actually actively ranking it. But if for, for the sake of pure ranking. 
I would actually say the Unsullied one is about top 3 though. Whether it's better than Kingsguard Infantry and like Bowman, it's probably worse because you, ha you have to be in fervor. But you, you can make the argument if you're not in fervor, you shouldn't really be attacking. So if I were to rank the SS skins by power ranking, it would be 1, Bow uh, Kingsguard Infantry, 2, Kingsguard's Bow, 3, Unsolid, then 4 uh, would be, uh, what did I say, Defense Reversal and health both are the same though uh, health reduction or better mm, can say health is better though because like mm, mm, uh, health reduction i'm feeling very low on king's guard though so I, i'm gonna say that uh priestess is higher because of my role than a uh, rider then King's Guard Calf and 7 is uh, that's wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, oh, Water Dancer. Water Dancer is definitely uh, slightly above Unsolid. Okay, so this is my final uh, pairing for me. So if I'm at the stage whereby I'm looking to get a purple or gold to increase my rally size instead, so I would suggest uh, for me, I would personally be doing King's Guard Inf, Bow, Water Dancer, Unsolid, Priest. Unsolid, I probably won't do it because I've got KVK, Priestess, Rider, and King's Guard Cavalry. The reason why King's Guard Cavalry, because at gold, you're getting the stats of 12% health reduction when King's Guard Infantry does it at purple, so it's ranked really low. Because it's probably the first one though, so it's not really like good. Okay, this is Bubble T's ranting, and I'll leave the notepad here just for my reference in case I need to <laughs> remind myself. And have a good weekend, Bubble T signing off.